Hey guys, what's up? Hermit here and welcome to another episode of The Leap Show. We are episode number three. Let's roll that intro again. Right, welcome back to another episode of The Leap Show, a show where I take you through a complete edit from start to finish of how I process the photo, either using Lightroom, Photoshop, uh, Luminar 3, or any other photo editing software. So today we're gonna be working in Lightroom, um, and I'm gonna be taking you to Tasmania with me uh, with this photo, which I took earlier this year, late January. It was early morning and I woke up, uh, looked out the window of the hotel I was staying, and I saw this magnificent sunrise happening. Um, the sky was lit up red because there were bushfires, unfortunately, uh, around in Hobart at that time that created a lot of smoke, low lying smoke but because of the light uh, coming up from the sunrise, it got some really cool red, rich colors. Um, so to take that photo, I simply just put my camera with the lens hood up next to the window pretty much like that, put it flat up next to the window and took the shot. Um, and it was completely handheld, uh, no tripod, nothing. I didn't want to miss the opportunity because, you know, when the sun's coming up, it, it happens really quickly and the light changes quite quickly as well because of that. Um, so let's edit this photo. Let's go to Hobart. So the first thing I'm going to do with this photo is uh, I'm going to accentuate the colors a little bit. So I'm going to increase the vibrance. I've already got it on a vivid camera profile of my Fujifilm cameras. Uh, but I find that this bottom area is still too dark. So I'm gonna brighten it using a gradient here. So I'm gonna reset the gradient. Uh, I can reset the gradient by clicking on the effect button. Just double click there. And that resets all your sliders to zero. So now I'm just gonna increase the exposure a tad. Maybe like 0.08. I'm gonna pull the highlights up because I want those lights and things here, a bit of spotlights to be more accentuated. So I'm gonna drag this up here like so. There we go. And pull this down a bit actually. I want it near the horizon. So pull up the highlight. Now it's a very subtle um, enhancement, this one. Uh, maybe a touch more of the white touch more, open up the shadow so we can see some details um, in the foreground as well. There's lots of boats, the harbor and the water is perfectly still, which is pretty cool and the colors look really, really nice there. Um, da -da -da -da, that's it, I think I'm happy with that. We can always come back to it, I mean, that's, that's no problem. Um, do I wanna touch textures? Probably not. Um, highlights are fine, maybe a touch overall. I'm gonna pull up the highlights a little bit, brighten up the sky as well. Um, maybe a little bit more saturation would do it wonders. And then I'm going to use the tone curve here and I'm gonna pull the tone curve down a little to darken the dark areas and kind of create a little matte uh, here by crushing tiny bit the blacks in the image. That's nice. Now I'm gonna go back to my gradient and I'm gonna find that, click on the little pin and I'm gonna pull the shadows up a little bit more. So that has darkened the image. So I'm gonna just bring some of the detail back in the photo. Click on done. I think that looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is straighten it. I don't think the horizon is straight. So I'm gonna use the angle tool. And I'm just gonna draw where I see the horizon lines here in the distance up to, there we go about here and let go. And that's gonna adjust the image slightly. 0.36 uh, to the left. Slight rotation. And now it looks a lot uh, straighter to my eye. You could tell, you can always tell when the photo is not straight. 
I don't know what it is in your brain. It just tells you that the photo is not straight. It's crooked. So you want to straighten it so your brain can actually um, enjoy the photo. So the only thing I'm going to do now is just crop the image. So go up to the cropping tool here and I'm going to choose a wide proportion. I can use 16 by 9 or I can go really crazy cinematic like Hollywood style cinematic. What you see in uh, theaters is like a 21 by 9 ratio. Uh, that's what you would see there in the movies. And that cuts out too much of the sky. So I'm gonna go back to 16 to nine. I think that's still good. Pull this up here and there. And then just drag this down. Cool. We're just watching the corners so that nothing, uh, no lines or anything else kind of makes its way into the photo that can be distracting sometimes. Um, so if I went there, you can see this little object here coming up, these bright spots. So I don't want that. I'm just going to pull it back here. That looks good. Click done. And there you have it. So that's the edit of the Hobart Harbor. So thanks again for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you something specific that you'd like to see and learn about Lightroom, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos on this channel. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. I'll see you back here with another quick little edit in another episode of The Leap Show. Take care. Bye-bye.